everybody this is Amy welcome to my channel today I am going to show you how I use a number 10 low Cornell double filbert brush it's 7530 is the number on it I'm also going to be using an Imagic flat brush this would be a number 10 all these items will be listed down below with the, their affiliate links number 8 Deerfoot stippler a fine liner by Westonia and a dotting stylist. All right, paints I'm using are lime green, school bus yellow, tea berry, thicket, and warm white. These are all folk art paints, a mixture of enamels and multi surface. All right, so what I'm gonna do to start off with is dip my brush, and this is the double filbert brush, into the tea berry. Now I can go ahead and tip it in to the warm white if I want. I don't really care about doing blending strokes at this point because I'm just going to be tapping these in and going. Now you can do it where this brush has like minimal paint in between it or you can push down and create but it's kind of nice if you want like a double kind of like a double tipped flower if you understand what I mean so you can do just easy little strokes and even just come up here towards it towards the bottom if you want to make your design more durable like I try to encourage just make sure you put another coat of paint on it or you go back over it you can give it a blending or a uh, some simple I'll just give it some time to dry or you can hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer, whatever resource you might have available to you at the time. Now when you, if you're doing this on paper it's also a lot easier to see the split you can even turn it to the side a little bit and just put little strokes that come in like that. Again, just hitting it to the side. Go into my tea berry a little bit more. Go up the center. And I don't have as much space as I did on my paper when I was doing my sample. So it's not going to be as full. Like that. And I like to do my odds. So let's see what else we can tip in here. I don't want to get too many of my odds actually right now. I might just leave it at this. Like I said, I can come back in here and just kind of do some stroke work over some of this. Just very easy, very relaxing. And you can see how going over it a little bit more actually makes it more opaque. I'm just trying to find some different brushes because I have a lot of brushes but I kind of like doing different types of designs just to make it a little more interesting. I like this one kind of split a little bit which you'll find that'll happen. So if you want to go over again you can actually do what I'm doing. Just got to be careful this does not always work. And see it lifted up there, so you'd have to be really careful. And 
and I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way. I'm trying to be cautious with that. Because I am a lefty and that happens. Because if you don't like it with going over it, this one kind of split even after I just have to be careful of that. That's the only thing. See, it might get split even more after I stopped painting on it. And yes, that can happen even if you give it some dry time. You just have to be really careful when you're going over them to try to keep them from doing that. But it's not a big deal. You can definitely fix it. All right. Next thing I'm going to do, stick my liner brush into my greens. And I just like to stick it in, roll it, pull it out. Stick it in, roll it, pull it out. And I'm just going to come through here, just like I do on most of my designs, and just kind of figure out where my little stem would go. And I'm going to pull it out that direction. This one will come down here. Again, just going over it. Yeah, it helps. It helps to make them thick. With a bottle like this, it's probably not as important because it's not going to be handled like you would be handling a wine glass or something to that effect but all right so I'm just kind of pulling these out this is something I've discovered I like the looks of when I'm painting and we'll just keep it keep it relatively easy even put another one down this direction and we can add to it as we go all right, so on this one, I'm going to dip into my thicket, dip into the lime green. My brush was a little stiff. And I am going to put in some yellow. And I just kind of like to vary, vary the colors some. So this is going to be pretty simple. Just my basic one stroke leaves. Turning them in different directions. And I don't like them to all look the same. So I might be going over these with some different, just some different uh, paint. But again, just a very simple, simple design. just thinking I was lucky that I hadn't started yet and then there it is. Okay, so I'm going to pull through here. I am pulling some of the paint up since I didn't hit it with a heat gun or hair dryer. Still okay. I don't know why that keeps cracking even though I've gone over it but it's okay. You know, you might have to go, if, if I were selling this, I would be a little bit more cautious or concerned, but I'm not, so it's okay. Not a biggie. And I just try to make some, some different shapes with my leaves. They don't all have to be perfect. I don't want them perfect and I'm gonna come back in here probably go back over some of them it's kind of nice if you can do like a little bit of some darkness and lightness throughout kind of oh, let me go this direction here make it a little better I have a tendency to want to do them in different directions 
All right, so then what I'm gonna do is go back through, hit the brush again, my little liner brush with my paint. I can even go into the yellows if I want. But the main thing is is to be able to put little stems in them to hold them onto the branches. But then also throw in some other color just to give it some more interest. The darker ones, the lighter ones, doesn't matter. However you want to do it. Add some yellow to it if you want. And then we'll come back this way. And I kind of like to go over the stem. I kind of go around it some. And that just makes it, I don't know, just kind of gives it a more natural look. And these are just two kind of little fun leaves that I kind of put in the middle there. So they're not blank. And here you go. Very simple. And if you're new to my channel, that is my intention. I like to have just simple designs that anybody can create. If you're a more experienced painter, you can take the designs as just a guideline or something that maybe will give you some inspiration and then go for it and add to it what your abilities are. So I'm just doing this down at the bottom here. Again, just make a little straggly to be all just one little stem and you can fill them in as much as you want or as little as you want the last thing I'm going to well no take that back I'm it's not the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and take my deer foot stippler I'm gonna stick it into my school bus yellow just get it get it covered with paint when you're doing this yes you can pick up some of the paint that's underneath that's not dry that's fine it's a problem for you and give it some dry time. I'm just doing a simple center, very simple center. I can even go into my green maybe a little bit, hit this with green if I want. I was going to hit it with white but I feel like I tend to do that a lot. And then I'll come back over it and just make it a fun center. Not anything difficult because we're going to keep them simple. Then to finish it out, I am going to stick my little dotting stylus in to the warm white and then just do some simple dotting. Again, anytime I create something, if you don't like part of it, then leave it out when you're creating the design. It's perfectly fine. You can do a lot, you can do a little. You can do all the way around the center. You can just do a little part on one side of it. I just don't like them all lined up perfectly. You can do a couple, co you know, combination of colors if you want. That's fine too. All right, so here you have it. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would hit the share button, you'll find that underneath the video. Thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate you. Until the next time.